fields of corn, wheat, barley, oats, and things like that, golden color. But you will see them then because of what the farmer either did last autumn or, it, or is going to be doing now in, in this early spring. It's the sowing and reaping principle. Wissiwip is the word. What you sow is what you get. Now then, here we come to Manasseh and uh, Ephraim. And I want to say, Joseph here said, secondly, his son would be called Ephraim. Because God has made me fruitful in the land of my suffering. I want to say this, folks. Joseph would not have been able to have said that verse without the experience of what happened in his first son's name. It is because God has made me forget all my trouble and all my father's household. Two reasons. That, he, that Joseph was fruitful because God had made him forget the things of his father's household. He had a terrible time at home. His brothers wanted to kill him. They wanted to kill him. They really did. But listen, <coughs> he didn't let that destroy him. And sometimes we use the excuse of our upbringing or we use our upbringing as an excuse for our failures and faults in later life. Joseph didn't do that because he moved on. Had he not have been moved on, he would have not got into the fruitful seasons that he was in experiencing at this particular time that these uh, boys were named, let alone the fruit that he was going to bear in, in the uh, days that followed the writing uh, here in uh, Genesis uh, chapter 41. And the second thing that enabled him to be the fruit bearer uh, that he was, was because it was because of the way he responded to the people who despised him and persecuted him and wanted to just put him down. I need to give you a little bit more background about jo uh, Joseph. Joseph was the son of Jacob. Jacob, remember the Bible often speaks, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Can I say to you, if anyone asked you uh, in these days, which God do you serve? I want to say there is only one God. There is only one God who's got a capital G. There may be many gods who've got a small g, and the God that we serve is the Lord God Almighty. But if they ask you who he is, he is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jacob had 12 sons. He had four sons through his first wife, Leah. He had two sons through his second wife, Rachel. He had another two sons through uh, maid servants, Bilhah and Zilpah. Woo! <laughs> Oh, what a household. What a household. Aren't you glad you don't have to manage that household? It caused problems for Jacob, let alone what he would do for you, you or me. Of course, Joseph. Bible said that when he was 17 and started to you know, flex his muscles a little bit, uh, he had some dreams. And these dreams came from God. And he told his brothers what these dreams were. And they hated him for it. They despised him for it. And they decided that because of it, they were going to kill him. And one day, they were out in the fields working with the, with the animals, the sheep and whatever. And uh, Jacob, his father, uh, Joseph was there. Jacob sent his son Joseph to go out to his son to take him, to take him food. And on the way to the son, the son saw him coming in the distance. And they said, look, he's coming.